steam power in the hands of our long-distance engine drivers. But the days of steam are rapidly coming to an end. A sad thought for small boys, perhaps, but a glad thought for most who welcome the diesel locomotive as steam's successor. The familiar sight of the overall clad crew is being replaced. If not exactly white-collar workers, they can certainly dress in accordance with the relatively clean conditions the job now provides. Apart from greater efficiency, the diesel engine means a better life for the men who daily travel hundreds of miles, carrying you to all parts of the country. In the cab, for instance, are provided washing facilities, a far cry from the soot-caked conditions which for too long have been synonymous with a driver's life. There's the chance, too, to brew up before the long journeys. Instead of a footplate, there's a hot plate and a comfortable seat. Deltic diesel, by the way, or on the way as it is now, is the most powerful locomotive in the world, capable of sustaining high speeds up to 100 miles an hour. Not that one particularly notices it, cushioned cosily in a compartment, but just for a moment, let's share the driver's viewpoint. Stations rush past, bridges disappear, miles melt away. The dynamic Deltic is part of the plan to make Britain's railways the world's best, and what a part it is playing. At this rate, the railway will soon be called the Speedway. But the Deltic, of course, is only part of the modernization program, typical of new ideas introduced daily in the race against time. A deserted beach, 